judge me with I don't care. Arms, same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. Nope. I really hope you're joking, Roy. Nope. Not caring. Mm -mm. Hurry up. Hurry up! There you go. Better. Is he upset that we still got like a case right now? What is this guy's fucking all over the place, man? For real. Second floor. Apartment six. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Why can't you be my sidekick? Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Oh, our first guy! How can we get on with it? Oh. Relax, Rusty. God damn it. Why can't I have that guy? 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. I miss Alder. you. We heard Carruthers thinks Carruthers that. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. God here, damn here. it. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Look at all my sure. co-workers right here. I miss you. God damn it, you were so polite. Phelps? Pal, we've had a look oh. around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. You didn't even move your flaps, which I guess is you're taking point of what I said before, but you're still being an annoying asshole about it. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. She choke? Take a closer look at her head and neck. The neck is bruised pretty badly. <laughs> Holy fuck, look at these. They're like bite marks? Forearms and these look like bite marks. Someone got a little too sexual. Bite marks are cool and all, but not like that, man. It's pretty it's pretty fuck wedding ring. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Could be. Could be not. I think it's a. Uh... Yeah, there you go. Very unusual ring. Could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. <laughs> I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected. Jimmy! Put her in the Jimmy! Jim, Jim, Jimmy. Jim, James! Son, let me tell you something about rockets. Rockets are big people things, son. You can't be going out there flying the big uh, flying things. Because that's what rockets are. Rockets are flying things. Well, I hope this conversation helped. If not, have a good tomorrow and a good rest of your day. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. That's a pretty good jacket. That's nice. That's a nice jacket. That's bold. That's a nice bold. <laughs> Here's a tic tac. It's a tic tac eek one. Mm. Banana. Some more tic tacs in here. Yes. What else is rattling around in this thing? More Tic Tac! Oh. We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Look at that twist, Daniel. So, so I'm guessing, like, she got choked on her own. Th she was bruised. I don't know how she got bruised. Probably by the person she lived with. I'm guessing that this is a couple. But, like, damn. Hello. I'm Detective Phelps. Oh, that's right. Cleaning lady. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson. 
I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, I, sit there. I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. No, I believe that. So she wasn't mad at anyone in particular? No, men were usually besotted with Miss Julia, not the other way around. I don't think Miss Julia was ever in love with anyone. Oh, <laughs> That's so sad. Just the way that... Did Miss Randall oh. have many friends, is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Wow, you're you're really trying not to look at me. Men friends, Mrs. Reynoldson. Spill it. I will not spread gossip about Miss Julia. She was very nice to me. I don't care if she was the Virgin Mary sister. Who was she humping? You changed the sheets. You're disgusting. If you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. Really? <laughs> what was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Oh, why? Well, you answered that really quickly, didn't you? Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. That's two out of three. The way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. One out of three? I fucked up the first one? One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. Huh? Huh? Ladle. This doesn't pertain to the case. You're the reason I fucked up. Everyone is... Devon Rusty, oh. we'll take a look around outside and follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? No, I want to. You think Carruthers is doing it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. God, of course you are. You two fucking lazy ass, bullshit assholes that just want your money and fucking go home. You don't give a shit. You probably have so many people on your little finger. Like, yeah, I control you because I let you do what you want and I get a little bit of a cut. Fucking Mr. I know everyone and I'm Mr. Pretty Face. Yeah, guess what? Everybody hates me, but god damn it, do I do a great ass job. Sometimes being on the front cover of a newspaper isn't what it's jammed up to be, alright? He upsets me so much. I hate... I absolutely hate people that just constantly splurt out negative shit along with um, being Mr. Like, even if he doesn't say it, he's like, well, my opinion is my opinion, which makes it fucking top tier opinions, you know? I guess you could say a critic, but critic has credibility in somewhat. Not a fucking Uber Eats critic, but like a critic critic enough to make it stars. But God, he's pissing me off. Why do they do that? Why do they pair me up with people I hate? Up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Why would we do that? 505. There you go. Yes, sir, your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. 
There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, You're I such an asshole. From the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. She points. <laughs> Your investigation is much more important than the first cry was great. He even said like bef the first I'll say it later. Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um not if it doesn't compromise doctor patient privilege, detective. Okay. What I was gonna say is the fir the first guy was so nice, the first case that we did, he simply said like if you ever feel lost, just don't mind. You can nudge me a little bit, and I'll tell you where you can go. Second guy immediately is like, "Nah, this guy, this girl's a whore. Before you drunk guy got upset, killed her. It's over. Let's go home." How well did you know Miss Randall? And then fuck this guy. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. She was disturbed though. Since she had trouble sleeping. Well, you wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, Doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. Do you know where Miss Randall worked? Uh, I, uh, I have my patient's uh, home address in Mexican. That's, uh, that's as far as it goes. <clears throat> yeah, all right. We are investigating a murder, Doctor. You can either read whatever else is on that card, or I can reach over and take it from you. There is such a thing as confidentiality, officer. Not for a dead woman lying on her bathroom floor, there isn't. You want to obstruct me? I'll subpoena your patient records. Clothing store. 6582 Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. I fucked up the first one because I gave him the benefit of the doubt. You enjoy yourself. Scum. You're all scum. You're all you are scum. You're all scum. All of you are scum. Scum. Including you, you're mostly scum. I fucking hate you. This one. A circular. I think his name is Flo. Well, hello. I read what about can I help you with today? <laughs> LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful New York, girl. huh? I completely forgot what I asked, but Could you yeah. tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy and neither was I. Did she have any close hmm. friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Sorry, there was a thingy on the screen. I needed to get rid of that. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Oh, we got matching bows. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? That was a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? 
Uh, okay. I don't like how I'm cutting her off. <laughs> That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Could accuse somebody of lying, then back out the accusation if you change your mind about it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Okay, yeah. Henry is your beau. Tell us about him. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. That's all, all right. I have, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiance to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. That's fair. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. Surprised she wasn't crying. What the f? Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Isn't that the. God damn. Y'all sound the same. You want to grab me two with ketchup Roy, and arugula? I have some information for you. <laughs> You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. What the fuck? He was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening. Uh, no sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Fucking hate you. Is there an option to shut you up? Sound. Dialogue. Damn it. It's not specific. It's a candy bar. No, it's not. I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Oh, this is harmonica? Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. Is it the other team? There's a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Oh, there you go. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. I'm going to slit your fucking throat. I'm going to cut off your ears so you can't even hear your beautiful voice that you think is so beautiful anymore. I <laughs> can't. I, 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 bro, <laughs> I'm so sick of you. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. This is Superman? Terrible news about Julia. Superman. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally models. I believe that, yeah, no. And you were close. We were friends. Oh, damn it, really? Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Can you identify the man in this picture? No. Spill it, Henry. You know nothing about a man named Henderson? Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. 
How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Hmm. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, hey, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. <laughs> Heather told us that you were in fashion. Wait. That's right. Wait, what? So the second one that actually gave us information, I got wrong, but the last one I got right? And he, like, didn't spill a thing? Sure. I'm proud of it. Fight the sixth. You were in the sixth Marines. Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. He's suspicious. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Damn. He's in that car at the light. <laughs> We're gonna get you, Superman. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Can you quit driving like a jackass? Already? Can you shut the fuck up? Please. like Arnett to be a better liar. Can't Oh wow, he got hit. I can't wait to stop playing the vice one. Honestly, this guy is this guy's ruining this game for me. It's, it, he really is. I'm so over him. <laughs> the last one was at least bearable because it's like, uh, he's old. He just kind of wants to deal with his own thing. It, it was stupid the way he wanted to end the stuff. But this guy is straight up just like, yeah, everything I do is right. The way I do it is the best way to do it. Fucking idiot. That's, that's how he do it. Hate it, hate it, hate him. I didn't, I didn't even like him when they previewed him. He, he showed up in like the first, the first guy I was with. He showed up. I'm pretty sure, or maybe it was the second one. I'm not too sure. The second guy I was with, and he was there, being like, oh look, at, yeah, look at me, I'm fucking fantastic. Hell, I was. <laughs> Even when I was just a normal cop, the guy I was with, maybe not memorable because I honestly just remembered it right now, but holy shit, was it fine? Fuck this guy. I absolutely fuck this guy. If this is his car, I'm totaling it. Why do they care so much about this guy? Because he's Hollywood? Fuck Hollywood. Hollywood ain't got shit. LA is nothing but smog and lies. <laughs> it's for real. Why'd you park on this side of the street? He needs money and fast.
get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Thanks, so we throw in the geographical, geographical air quality shade. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Well, I mean, I I live a couple hours away. I can tell. I, I know, I know. I know it's like there. Oh, really? Better not be crossing the street. Fuck, you're 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 crossing the street. Fuck. You going up? Alright. First guy being the fourth guy you meet last says to be your partner. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha. Okinawa. <laughs> He's a marine in Okinawa. This is Okinawa. That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City, tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. <laughs> Fuck a l take a loo. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. He sold this off and there's an engraving on it? Huh. I mean, I honestly think mine was still more special, but... Fuck me, right? I mean... Is that what it would sound like? Felt bad, twelve forty-seven. How can I help? How can I help, detective? How can I help? Any train. message? Yes, detective. Detective Spakowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood Station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check? Yeah, yeah I get LeBlanc? to talk to the people I yes, thought detective. are cool. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood 9th Street Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks for your help. <laughs> this whole... The, oh my god! I am so sorry! I'm so sorry! Your bag! Ma'am? Ma'am? <sighs> Soup! <laughs> hey, I have a Twitch. Come check it out for more VODs like this. Rawr!